Hello everybody. Comcast recently upgraded the speed of my internet package to around 400 megabits per second and that caused me to have to purchase a new residential gateway to accommodate the higher speed. And while 191 megabits a second is a substantial improvement over what I had, it's nowhere near the advertised 400. So what I did was I disconnected the ethernet cable from my desktop. This is the screen on my desktop and plugged it into my laptop and on the same connection you can see I'm getting 489 megabits per second download speed uh, almost exactly the same upload speed uh, as on my desktop and I thought I wonder what could be causing that turns out that my desktop machine is a pretty old machine it has served me really well it's running Windows 10 and uh, I've been really really happy with it and have had no need to really replace it. It happens to be a HP Pavilion Elite model M9160F. As I said an old machine but one that is performing really quite well. So I took a look at the specs real quickly and sure enough if you look at networking here you can see that this thing is never going to run at the data transfer speed that's being delivered by Comcast. So I'm going to upgrade my network card to a one gigabyte card and we'll see whether that solves my problem. Before you go through the trouble and expense of upgrading your network adapter, read the articles that are out on the internet making sure that your malware scans are completed, that all your drivers are up to date. And I stress drivers that's really, really important. For example, if you were to go into your device manager, it right here happens to be the built-in network adapter that's on the motherboard. So if I click this device and we look at the, the settings on this device, you can see under speed and buffers, I have it set at a gigabyte per second, which is a thousand megabytes per second. So I have it set on the correct setting here. That's an example of one of the places you want to go and take a look and make sure that that's correct. And uh, make sure your drivers are up to date. Uh, you can see here that this driver is a 2015 driver. This is the uh, driver for the network adapter on the motherboard. Here's a picture of the new network card that I purchased on eBay for $10 and change delivered. It's made by TP-Link. I took out the fax modem card in my PC to make room for this particular card. Of particular note is the card that I purchased is a version 2.0 card. And that is significant as you'll see here in a moment as I try to install the driver software. Here's the TP-Link web page for downloading the drivers. You can see here TG 3468 version 2 and if I click on driver right here you can see that this is for Windows 8 there are no drivers to download for Windows 10 only XP, Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8 so I proceeded to do download this driver since I do have version 2 hardware. I downloaded the driver and attempted to install the driver but my operating system felt that the Windows driver I currently had was the more up-to-date and suitable driver for this particular card. So the next thing to do was to test my speed and uh, I did. I tested my internet speed and unfortunately I was quite disappointed with the result. So the next thing I decided to do was take a chance and install version 3. Even though I have version 2 hardware, why not take a chance and uh, just experiment with this. So I installed the version 3 driver right here and you can see that it is for Windows 10, 32 and 64 bit uh, operating systems. So I installed this particular driver. Notice the date it has a published date of 2018. And uh, my operating system 
felt that this was a more up-to-date driver and it actually successfully installed this driver. Now that you have version 3 of the driver installed, first thing I would do next is I would go up to your old network adapter. This one right here. And disable it. You can see I've got this driver, this piece of hardware uh, disabled. And this is my TP Link network adapter. And if we look at how it's doing, it seems to be happy with the version 3 driver. So the de device is working properly. Doesn't seem to have any errors associated with it that I can see. If we check the speed, it's set to auto. It could, in fact, select one gigabyte per second full duplex, but I've left it in auto negotiation. And then I gave it a test. And here's the test result. Before I show you my speed test result, uh, just a couple of other comments. One, I found that using another browser, uh, in my case, you, using my Chrome browser, which is not my default browser, but using my Chrome browser to do my speed tests gave me a little bit more speed. I think it's because I use Firefox as my default browser and I have lots of add-ins and add-ons to uh, that particular default browser, whereas my Chrome browser is, for all practical purposes, quote-unquote, very clean. I noticed my speed was just a little better with my Chrome browser. Uh, the other thing I did is I also did change my setting back from auto negotiation to uh, one gigabyte per second. And here are my test results. So let me run a live speed test for you. My video capture software is not going to show you uh, all the detail, but you'll see the start and you'll see the end. So as you can see, I've improved it substantially for something under 200 megabits per second to a speed that's in excess of the Comcast commitment. So I'm very happy with this. And for $10 and change and playing around with the drivers, I'm able to get this performance. If this found my video informative or interesting and it helped you, please help me with a subscription. Thanks for watching and good luck.